Hey everybody, thanks for checking in. Always, always excited when you stop by to check in. Uh, so my kids recently have been getting very excited about how fast they're growing, right? So they go up, we have this big, you know, big uh, ruler, whatever, I don't, can't remember, a measuring chart. And we're marking the marking the lines on how they're growing and they're getting so excited about growing. And, and that completely aligns to something I posted the other day, which is where do you want to grow today? Right, where do you want to grow today? Because bringing more excitement back in to our day-to-day -day process is, is just extremely exhilarating. For example, I love to share frequently because there's opportunities, moments where I failed and, and why that's so important to identify those moments of failure, celebrate those moments of failure and actually grow through them. Because then that next opportunity that comes up, you get like this, whoo, you get this alarm that goes off and says, hey, this something's out of alignment here. Something, something's just not quite right. And it's cool after you practice that and practice it and practice it and make it part of your daily routine where then these things that used to be long, drawn out, like week long, month long, I don't know if you've ever had this, week long, month long problems with people, with others, with people that you care about that, that get so drawn out because you're so focused about being right. Woo! I don't know if you had that issue. Maybe it's just me. But I used to struggle big time about just being right. And I would fight so hard about being right. I started off as I was kind of learning my way and, and figuring things out and trying to, how do, how do I fit in and stuff? I would like give away all of myself to try to please someone. Then I went the opposite direction where I had to fight and battle every single thing about being right and just because that's that's the way I stand on things. And, and, I've, and I've kind of identified this balance that comes in a form of when I'm feeling resistance with someone, especially someone you care about so you know, right? You know what's going on. I, I, I do this quick check in this, and this check-in literally happened the other day. It only took me like 12 minutes to kind of take a step back and say, okay, and this is the first question I start with, right? Am I focused? Am I so worked up because I'm worried about being right? Or am I worried about growing? And that resistance, that tension that you get about trying to be right instead of identifying the opportunity to grow, is, it, it just takes over you, right? You get tense, you, you, know, you get stress marks in your face. And in this opportunity, I work through this quick little exercise where I go through, okay, am I focused about being right or am I focused on growing, right? So focus on being right, right or wrong, or growing. I identified in that situation right there, I was really focused on trying to be right and like fighting for it. Why would you, listen, if it is not earth shattering breakthrough, I don't really know what stakes you gotta make it. But if it's somebody that you really care about and you realize, Oh, I'm really, is this something really that is so vitally important that I prove that I'm right, that I would jeopardize the relationship, jeopardize the friendship, jeopardize whatever it is on the basis of trying to be right. No, and it wasn't in that moment. No, absolutely not. So then I look at, okay, next question I do, if, if I was my best friend giving guidance or coaching to help me have a breakthrough to get going, what would I say were the triggers in that situation. So then identify the triggers. What triggered me in those situations to act out or speak the words or, or do whatever I was doing in that situation that don't bring out the best in me, right? I was giving away so much energy that was not conducive, not helpful to other people. And in that moment, I, I needed to adjust. So how am I gonna handle it the next time? I can't do anything about it. And that's okay, I've already forgiven myself, right? For the future situations, Am I focused on being right? Or is this an opportunity for me to grow? Answer that. Then figuring out, okay, what would my best friend self tell me? And then that helps me step away from the picture for a second, the scenario. And then identify opportunities and alternatives for the next time that that opportunity comes up. So am I right? Am I focused on being right? Or am I looking at ways to grow? What would my best self tell me? identifying possible alternatives and here's the magic fourth fourth four step then going back to that person and saying i'm sorry if it was an offense or something like that or if you hurt somebody sorry is a great step quickly quickly apologizing and then identifying why you may have been feeling that way not towards them why you yourself are bringing out that stuff in you 
Then you identify the opportunities, the alternatives for that situation next time, and then bounce those ideas off. And then it becomes a communicate. Imagine that. It becomes more effective communication because now you're finding solutions and you're no longer focused on the problem. There are things that we're coming across that are preventing us from going forward in our work life and our relationships and, and everything in between. And I'm really passionate and inspired. I am just determined to try to share as much information as I possibly can. That's not only benefited me, but I've seen benefit others. So if you have anything like that going on, please reach out to me. See if I can, you know, just drop messages, whatever. Let's set up a session, whatever you want to do. Whatever way I can help you have those kind of breakthroughs. Because when I experienced this and finally was able to put it into practice, oh, I mean, it just saves me weeks of misery. Don't you want to save yourself weeks of misery? I think you do. I keep cutting my head off. I think you do. Because you matter. That's what this is all about. You matter, and I appreciate you. Go get them.